Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be tackling my to-do list and finally checking off the things that I've been kind of putting on hold for a little bit too long. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys one of my family's favorite easy recipes for dinner. So I really hope that you guys enjoy. But before we jump into today's video, I just wanted to let you guys know that today's video is actually in collaboration with a friend of mine named Brienne. She makes cleaning motivation videos on YouTube as well, and if you guys need some intense, intense cleaning motivation, then her channel is definitely the one that you want to check out. So she is also Canadian as well, and I love collaborating with fellow Canadian creators like myself. So on her channel, she's going to be doing a tackle your to-do list video as well, and I will have that link down below for you guys so you guys can check her out. So we're going to start off today's video in the master room closet which is obviously Tom and Sinai's closet and as you can see it's absolutely a disaster I haven't organized or cleaned it or gone through it in a very long time like an embarrassingly long amount of time and I haven't shown it in a video in a long time either because of how unorganized it actually is so today is the day that I'm finally going to take absolutely everything out and then sift through all of the clothing and put in a bin of what I'm going to donate and then hang up what I'm obviously going to keep. So if you guys need to go through your closet, then I really hope that this video can give you guys some motivation to go through your closet and organize and deep clean it because it was so, so satisfying as you guys will see at the end. And I'm so, so happy that I utilized nap time today to organize this because it looks so much better. Watch me under the light So keep me in your sight Cause I can do this all night You can call it what you want I got something else in mind Oh, if it's you I've been waiting for I better make you worth my time So don't you pay So once I took everything out of my closet and put everything back in that I wanted to keep, I then went through and organized it by tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeve tops, sweaters, and that kind of thing, just so it was kind of like in order of length, I guess, if that makes sense. It just makes it look a lot nicer and a lot easier to pick out an outfit as well, which is always very nice being a mom. It's always very convenient to know exactly where your clothes are. All we got is here and now. And then it was finally time to do Thomas's side and there wasn't too much clothing. It was just 90% t-shirts and like just hoodies and stuff. And there wasn't too much to get rid of either, which is nice. But I did want to just go through it and organize it again by tank tops, sweaters, hoodies, that kind of thing. And unfortunately the clip got deleted of me actually organizing his closet once I was putting them back in, which is unfortunate. But I did do the exact same thing to his side of the closet that I did to mine.
So the shelves in our closet are kind of just a big dumping ground for anything and everything, to be honest. There is laptops and light bulbs, but for the sake of today's video, I just wanted to really go through the clothes and sift through everything that I wanted to keep and everything that I wanted to donate. So with the shelves, I just took everything off and then literally just threw them on the floor. And then I separated it by Thomas's stuff and my stuff, and then I just went through and folded it all and made it look nice and organized and clean. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bedroom basically everything that I did in the closet. Everything was nice and folded and organized. Now I'm kind of excited to put away some laundry because I know where everything goes and everything kind of has a home. Although I know and I can promise you that it will not stay like this for too 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 long. So I will have to do this again in the near future. But again, like I said in previous videos, I like to clean anyways so it's not really a big deal. And I also wasn't going to organize the dresser at all. This definitely was not on my to-do list, but I just decided to add it in because I remember in my last video, if you guys watched it, I said that the drawers basically didn't even shut anymore because they were so stuffed and jammed full with just pajamas and leggings and stuff. So I did decide to completely empty them out and then roll stuff in because the drawers are pretty shallow. So I like to roll my pajamas so then a lot more fit. Also, can we just take in the big laundry bin in the back full of clothes that are going to be donated? That is a lot of stuff that was sitting in my closet that I knew that I would never wear, wasn't my style, or just genuinely doesn't fit me. So it felt so good to purge them out of my closet and be able to put them in the hands of somebody that I know will absolutely love them and appreciate them. I don't feel like waking up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bedroom So these drawers aren't like a huge dramatic change or anything like that, but I did need to go through them because none of them were folded or rolled nicely anymore. So now I can finally close my drawers nicely. So once I had finished in the bedroom, Charles had woken up from his nap. So when he woke up, I put him in his high chair, fed him some lunch, and then decided to empty out the dishwasher and clean up the kitchen a little bit. I get so caught up in the middle. Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling <laughs> What the heck? Did you play in the drawer? <laughs> Charles! <laughs> Baby! I'm 
so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide So obviously, as you can see, Charles is still eating his lunch and I decided to clean up the living room because there was a pot lid on the coffee table. I have no idea how that got there. Obviously, Charles had gotten into the drawer, as you guys could see at the previous clip. So I decided to go into the living room and just fix the pillows and just kind of tidy it up a little bit. Nothing crazy at all. Just make it look a little bit nicer. So Charles was still eating so I decided to just vacuum the stairs quickly and whenever Charles eats I turn on the TV and whenever he's done I turn the TV off and put on music and I think he's starting to catch on to that because he's starting to eat really really slow recently which is kind of odd. So I think he's just starting to catch on and get smart about it and he's not even two yet so I mean <laughs> great. Gets too dark. So after I was done vacuuming the stairs, I looked at the window and realized that it had finally stopped snowing. So I went to the car and I got the stroller and I got Charles out of his high chair, put a jacket on him and bundled, bundled him all up. And then I didn't have socks for him because I didn't want to go all the way upstairs and get him socks with my boots on. But he was wearing swell boots, so I promise you he was warm. And I bundled him all up and then we finally went for a walk. <laughs> Go for a walk. <laughs> Say hi. Oh, nice. <laughs> So now it was finally time for dinner, which is sometimes the scariest part of the day because I never really know what to make. But this recipe I thought that I would share with you guys because it's so easy, it's so good, and it's so filling. And they're definitely ingredients that you guys would probably have in your house like garlic, butter, flour, just simple things. It takes about 20 minutes to make. The longest part, in my opinion, is boiling the noodles because rigatoni noodles, I don't know if it's just me, but they always feel like they take so much longer to actually cook through. So they probably take the longest amount of time. The whole thing in total takes about 20 minutes, I would say. So it's a super easy and good recipe for just any nights like this where you're super busy throughout the day, don't know what to make for dinner, and you just want to throw something together. So I will have the recipe linked down below for you guys. It's just a pinch house recipe. Definitely not my own recipe at all. I'm definitely not taking credit for it at all by any means. But I will have the exact recipe that I use in the description box down below so you guys can check it out and make it yourself. So finally dinner is all ready and I'm able to just sit down and enjoy the dinner. We did so much today, like so much. We did the entire closet and the dresser. We went for a walk and we cleaned the living room and it was just, it was a very busy but productive and nice day. So after dinner we gave Charles a bath and then now we're ready to just sit down and watch a movie and just relax as a family. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell so you guys don't miss when I upload my next video. And as always, you can follow me over on Instagram at Lauren Monroe XO. I post over there a lot on my stories. And anyways, with that being said, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.